Good afternoon, everyone. This is YC. Welcome back to YC Cooks and Bakes. Today, I am just going to do a stone ground honey mustard chicken for supper, and that's it. Um, and we are going to put some uh, stuffing and green beans with it. This is uh, Sunday, and um, I'm going to cook a little early tonight. And um, I know. Uh, you know, my husband has to go to work on third shift, so uh, I'm just going to do a really quick, um, it's going to be a stone ground mustard. I'll show you everything that I'm going to use. Um, first of all, we're going to start off with um, seasoning some chicken breasts. And I'm going to put on it some garlic and some lemon pepper. And then we're going to use, at the stove, I'm going to be using uh, a cup of chicken stock, chicken broth. And it, this is what I made it with. Chicken flavored bouillon. And we're going to be using, uh, let me see how much I put of this. I put two tablespoons of the brown sugar. And three teaspoons of honey and two tablespoons probably it's more than that isn't it? it's two to four um, spoons of the it's two teaspoons of the Dijon but it is two big uh, tablespoons of the stone ground uh, mustard and the stone ground mustard is the the main star of the show for this chicken. Um, but what I wanted to show you was this lemon pepper. If you never bought it before, it's a stone mill lemon pepper from Aldi. And it is, I don't know if you can see it there, it says salt free. And in, in it, just in case you don't have an Aldi, it is onion spices, black pepper, basil, parsley, oregano, celery seed, cayenne pepper, mustard, and turmeric for color. And then um, garlic, carrot, sugar, citric acid, lemon peel, and oil of, a, of lemon, like a citron, you know? So, um, we will get started. So, you know how I always fillet these and I cut them. I'm going to go ahead and put salt. Okay, and then cracked pepper. Doesn't want to come out. And then we're going to put a little bit of this lemon pepper. Some garlic powder. And then I'm going to turn these over and do the other side. But just so you see what that looks like. And I'll turn these over and do the other side. Okay, I have the other side seasoned now too. Um, now these are ready to go over to the stove so I can sear each side. Okay, the only other ingredient you're going to need for the chicken is um, my onions. And I don't put these in the pan until after I sear the chicken and remove it. Okay. I like the ends on those. 
and I'll meet you at the stove. Okay, we're at the stove, and I went ahead and um, I sprayed a pan because I'm going to finish cooking mine not all on the stove in two pans like I used to do. It's too hot for that. I'm going to put them in here, wrap it up, and put it in the toaster oven while I do the other things for the meal. And um, the uh, honey and brown sugar and the two different mustards that I put in this um, chicken broth. I am going to, I'm going to list everything for you in the description, you know, so that you will know what I did. And I'm going to go ahead and start searing the chicken now. That way you're not guessing at it. Because I'll I start talking and then I'll get all the teaspoons and tablespoons and mixed up. And I really don't want to steer you wrong from having a good meal. And this is super easy once you get used to doing it. I used to do it all the time, but I hadn't done it now for about nine months. And I've, I've gotten away from it. I actually have another video on it. <laughs> that I did about nine months ago. I just want to get these a little brown on each side and then, um, you know, like sear them, kind of turn them over and I'm going to finish cooking the insides of them in the toaster oven. And see, after I saw, after these cook, all six of them, this, I only have three in the pan at a time and I flip them and everything. Um, I put in the onion that's cut in half moons. And then I put in uh, my chicken broth and make the sauce and pour it over the chicken that is in the pan that goes in the uh, toaster oven, but I cover it with foil before throwing it in there. Um, just so you know what I'm doing. Mm. I don't know if it has anything on it. Yeah, it's starting to look a little brown. Let's go ahead and turn them over. It's hard to fit them in here. I'll bring you forward so you can see what they look like. And um, I'll go ahead and work on these. And then when I get them done, I'll bring you back. So you're not waiting on me. You get the idea of searing. Okay, I just wanted to show you, see how beautiful and brown they are? That's just searing on the outside and they still need to be cooked on the inside. And that's where this next step comes in. And I'm going to add to your ingredient list. I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter so we can get the turbidity off the pan and saute it with the onions that we cut. help lift up all that beautiful flavor and goodness. Okay. And here we go. We're going to put in the onions now. And you can break them up. They'll break up too once you start stirring them around. Go ahead and use a with a spoon for this so I don't scratch my pan. And I'm going to go ahead and get these sauteed up. Oh, I just lost one. Okay, as you can see, these onions have some really good color on them now. So, I'm going to add 
the bouillon that has the honey brown sugar and the different mustards in it. And don't forget to cut everything in half if you're only doing three pieces of chicken as opposed to six. Okay. And I'm just going to stir this to get all that goodness up. That so makes a really nice sauce with that honey. And then um, I'll pour it, I got stuff all over me already, and pour it all over the chicken. Okay, I'm bringing you back because I'm going to show you what it looks like when I throw it over the chicken. Okay, here's our pan of chicken. And I'm just going to pour that sauce right over it. All that goodness. And then, um, I, like I said, I am going to seal this with aluminum foil, and it will go into my 350-degree oven toaster oven. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I'll bring you back. Okay, it is our supper time. Everything is all done. And the honey mustard, honey stone ground mustard chicken turned out really, really good. And there's the cornbread stuffing and some green beans. Everything turned out really good. And you can see some of the onions on the chicken. It smells amazing in here with the honey mixed in with that mustard and all the flavors of the chicken. It just, it smells amazing in here. So that is our supper tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed cooking with me today. And um, if you're new here, please comment, like, and subscribe so you can get all my recipes in the description. And I hope everybody has a great night. Bye-bye.